Walter Savage Landor's Citation and Examination of William Shakespeare is a unique and thought-provoking literary work that provides a fictionalized dialogue between Shakespeare and his critics. Written in the form of a trial, Landor engages in a profound exploration of Shakespeare's character, talent, and the enduring legacy of his works. The setting of the piece, A Legal Trial, is symbolic and sets the stage for a rigorous examination of Shakespeare's merits and flaws as a writer. The characters involved in the trial include William Shakespeare, the alternate spelling used by Landor, Ben Jonson, Sir Thomas Lucy, and others, representing different perspectives on Shakespeare's life and work. The central theme revolves around the authenticity of Shakespeare's authorship and the credibility of his works. Landor, through the character of Johnson, questions the legitimacy of Shakespeare's claim as the true author of the plays and poems attributed to him. This skepticism mirrors the historical debates and conspiracy theories that have surrounded Shakespearean authorship. One of the notable aspects of Landor's work is his portrayal of Shakespeare as a silent and somewhat enigmatic figure throughout the trial. By choosing not to give a voice to Shakespeare, Landor places the bard in a position of passive observation, allowing the other characters to express their opinions and criticisms freely. This approach adds a layer of mystery to Shakespeare's character and reinforces the notion that the man behind the works remains elusive and unknowable. The character of Ben Jonson emerges as a vocal and articulate critic, challenging the authenticity of Shakespeare's genius. Jonson's objections are not merely about the authorship but extend to the quality and originality of Shakespeare's writings. He accuses Shakespeare of borrowing ideas and phrases from other writers, suggesting that the true merit of the works lies in the collaborative efforts of various authors. Landor, however, does not present Johnson's arguments as definitive truths. The piece does not take a firm stance on the Shakespearean authorship question but rather opens up a space for contemplation and interpretation. This ambiguity allows readers to engage in their own reflections on the nature of creativity, inspiration, and the complexities of artistic genius. Sir Thomas Lucy, who represents the traditional and conservative viewpoint, defends Shakespeare and dismisses Johnson's accusations. Lucy highlights the popularity and universality of Shakespeare's works, arguing that their enduring appeal is a testament to their intrinsic value. This defense introduces the theme of the timeless and universal nature of Shakespearean literature, which transcends the historical context and continues to resonate with audiences across generations. Landor's language is rich and poetic, reflecting the eloquence of the Elizabethan era. The dialogue is crafted with meticulous attention to detail, capturing the nuances of each character's voice and perspective. This linguistic richness contributes to the immersive and authentic feel of the piece, transporting readers to the intellectual and cultural milieu of Shakespeare's time. In conclusion, Citation and Examination of William Shakespeare by Walter Savage Landor is a compelling exploration of the controversies surrounding Shakespearean authorship. Through a fictionalized trial and a cast of diverse characters, Landor delves into the complexities of artistic creation, the elusive nature of genius, and the enduring legacy of Shakespeare's works. The piece invites readers to ponder the mysteries surrounding the bard and encourages a nuanced understanding of the interplay between authorship, collaboration, and the timeless power of great literature.